All right, guys, I'm off road not well, as you know. And look at this, like, like it's actually clean. You can actually pull a truck in here if if that truck wasn't in the way. I'm joking, but I could pull something in here if I needed to work on it. Um, actually. What I recommend doing if you ever are buying a new truck, you know my choice is but take everything out. Like I've got the charger in here, my window mount, some of your clothes, and this was all stuff in my truck. And then a key holder, tow rope. It's just some stuff that you put it in like you put it in a box and you save it for the next truck. I did take out the floor mats, I put the stock ones back in because, well, honestly, these are very nice and I don't want to lose them, but the Chevy is gone. Um, we are going to go look at a Ram right now. Oh, I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. It's still here. It's still here, but um, we are, I am selling it today in... 13 minutes, so guy should be here pretty soon, and this will be the last time you see this show you on the page, on the channel, but we're going to go look at a Ram today, and then possibly a Dakota, um, the Ram has a 360.59 gas, which is good. Red cab long box. Both of them are red cab long boxes. The Dakota has a 5.2, which is like 3.18. But uh, it was a good, this was a good little runner for me. Got me from where I needed. It's weird though, like every time I quit a job, I'll get a new truck just so people don't know. I'm gonna miss the hitch. But, um, I'm thinking this Memorial Day weekend, we're going to go grab my aunt's kayaks and go out kayaking, maybe. It, it'll be this upcoming weekend, not today, because it's Sunday, but next weekend. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of excited I know the Ram doesn't need anything, but it's 250 bucks more. The Dakota needs a master, but like I said, it's only 500, so I could pay cash right now, bring it home, take that extra 250, and get um, the new master. And if I need new calipers or drums, you know, you know what I mean. But I was looking it up online, the 360 Ram. Only gets one mile but one mile worse to the gallon than the Dakota. I, I don't know how to say it, but like if you take the Dakota and let's say it's at like eleven miles per gallon, the Ram would get ten. So it it's kind of like, do I want to work on it or not? Ooh, sorry you guys, you're way out of focus. Is it? Looks like a worm. <laughs> but, um, so I figured I'd rather just have the full size pickup, I guess. But, uh, I'm gonna go because the guy should be here any second. If my phone would turn on. Oh, so cold out. Um, Chevy's gone. They literally just drove away with it. I got a fact stack of cash in my pocket and um i'm gonna go inside because it's freezing and it's raining they also took the black offset rims that i was going to throw on there because well i don't need them because the dodge both dodges are five lug so uh and that's got like an inch of water over there so yeah i am gonna go because it's raining out all right guys so i got some 
good news and some eh news. Um, I went all over the state to find this. Literally, we went about an hour south, came back up here, went like an hour north, and I found this truck. But, um, uh, I'm just gonna remember. Oh, but yeah. So we went all over the state to literally find this truck. Like, we were driving and we found it on Facebook. And, uh, <laughs> you guys aren't going to believe this. I don't know why I did it. But I did what I did. And I'm happy with my purchase. It was, I'm not going to lie to you, it was $1,000. So it was kind of expensive. <laughs> but I'm very happy. But, um... I'll just show you guys. <laughs> Got me a GMC. So yeah. Um, I know it needs a wheel cylinder, so we're gonna do that tomorrow. There's something else too. Sorry, just don't mind that. But it's a red cab long box. It's it's raining out right now, as you can kind of see. But yeah, it's a red cab lung box, 95 GMC with the uh, 5.7 auto trans, which I really wish it would have been a manual, but this size is way up, way too high, so we got to align the hood and that size is way too low. Like, that one was all the way down and this one's all the way up, but, um, I don't like spitting on the floor because then if I have to work in here... Then I get full of spit, and Jake does not realize that. So when he comes in, he just hucks a loogie on the floor. I'm very happy. I think I'm going to go sketch up some stuff. I think with my first paycheck, I'm going to get lights. Because these ones are kind of, yeah. I think I'm going to get lights, yeah. So something that Jake actually pointed out to me is kind of funny. But, uh, first off, look at that cab line. Mint. And then look at, <laughs> I was using the radio on the way home. And, uh, it works perfectly. It's just the antenna snapped off. So, that's fun. But, I'm going to go sketch up some stuff and then... I don't know, like the bed's fine, but the tailgate, like where the bottom pieces are, there isn't anything on the inside of the box, so the bottom kind of just flaps around, but the, and then eventually the driver's side will like go off of it and sit on the bumper, but that's about it. But, um, I'm so excited. <laughs> Well, we're checking fluids, maybe an oil change because I got oil change stuff. Um, brakes we're doing. Like it, it, it'll stop fine because it still has front brakes. It's just the re the rear brake on this side leaks. There is some rust by the back here. Ooh, why are you so foggy? But there, there is rust in the box. These front two fenders are... Come on. These front, stay. These, these front two fenders are fine. I'm very happy, though. I think I'm going to put cab lights on it. I think Wednesday after work, I'm going to go down to my grandma's. Because they got an 88... Uh, Ford Aeromax dump truck that they have that they use for business. So I think because they they're redoing it all, and I've been helping them in the past couple weeks, week and a half, and they're taking everything apart and 
basically buying more stuff brand new that needs it. And cab lights were one of the things that it needed. So I'm thinking I can get some cab lights for it. Because I said I could have the old ones. But it is a 95, like I said. So special year trans. Tires are brand freaking new, which I love. I love how the, like on the Chevy grill, it just looks, the grill looks so much, um, like instead of this, it looks smaller, you know? I just love how big that grill looks. <sighs> I can't wait to start driving it. Uh, to drive it an hour home, I think it was like a quarter tank of gas, so like, it's alright. But, I'm gonna go draw up a picture of this, and what I want, why is it so foggy? Like, do you guys see, okay, no window here, no window, and yet it still looks foggy. But I'm gonna go draw a picture, and I'm gonna put it at the end of this video, and... I'll show you guys kind of what I want to do with it. Of course, there are going to be no wheels because I cannot draw wheels to save my life. Unless it's like, like a side, sh like, um, like it's just the rim. That I can do. But I can't draw, I don't know why, but I can't draw the tires around it. They always look goofy. But I'm so excited for this. I don't know... Do I want to raise the front or lower the back? I'm thinking raise the front. It is four-wheel drive, just to let you guys know. I'm not getting a two-wheel drive in this weather. But uh, I'm going to go draw, and we'll see where that goes.